Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Ellen Crocker. She's with the University of Kentucky with Forestry Extension. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm glad you're here today because we're going to talk a little bit about a fairly new issue and that's laurel wilt. Yes, it's a new invasive problem that is killing sassafras throughout Kentucky and beyond. So this is an invasive fungus native to Asia that's being spread around, unfortunately, by an invasive beetle that is kind of also that, a partner in this disease, laurel wilt disease. And it has been rapidly killing sassafras uh, throughout the state. And a lot of people might say, well, is sassafras important to the hardwood industry? Is it important? Where does that tree fit? You know, it's not that important in that it's only about 1% of the trees across the state. But where you really see it are in those old fields, in those fence rows. And I would much rather have sassafras there than a lot of other invasive plants that move into those sites as well. And I think it's just another example of an invasive problem that's coming in and wiping out our trees. You know, it started with chestnut and then Dutch elm disease killing elm and emerald ash borer. And so we really just keep seeing this happen over and over. And unfortunately, laurel wilt is the newest arrival. Yeah, and I know it's important, sassafras is important for beekeepers. They, oh, they seem to yeah, really the enjoy flowers. that. The flowers is one mm -hmm. of their first bee foods. And so I know they consider that to be very important. Definitely. And people have made tea from the roots for many years, mm -hmm. uh, you know, use the leaves uh, as a spice. And there's a lot of different ways that people have traditionally used sassafras for a long time. Well, and I think the disease is subtle in the way it shows as well. And so there's perfect timing and things to look for if you have it. I never noticed how much sassafras was growing on the side of the road until it started dying. The most obvious symptom of this is that the leaves turn bright red in the middle of the summertime. So typically you expect that beautiful fall color that sassafras has in the fall when everything else is changing colors. But if you're seeing early fall color, you know that color change in the summer, especially uh, July, August, that's a red flag, literal red flag in a tree. Um, and what's happening there is that the fungus is growing just under the bark, cutting off the circulation of the tree. The tree is basically being strangled and kind of throwing up that sign of that stress in it with the early fall color. You might initially notice those leaves looking wilty, kind of dull, then the early fall color, and then you might see the whole tree dead with the leaves still on, these brown leaves held on there. Well, there are some fungicide treatments that could be used to protect individual high value trees. Um, a lot of that we just don't know yet. It's a really new disease in our area. Um, but you can try that if you've got a tree in your landscape that you really want to protect, but you know laurel wilt is nearby. Um, other than that, I think it's going to be keeping an eye on things, making sure that we're not unintentionally spreading this disease any faster than it's already moving. So things like moving around firewood, it might look totally fine, but if you accidentally grabbed some contaminated sassafras that has these tiny little beetles that are going to spread it around, you could be moving those as well. And those beetles are super small, so you wouldn't be able small. to see them a lot of times. Like when, when I think of a beetle, I think of a larger insect that you would be able to see, but this one's really it's small. It's like the size of the end of your pencil. It's a really tiny little beetle. And so you would never, even if you're looking for it in your firewood, even if it looked fine, it might not be. You never know what you're accidentally moving around when you move around firewood, whether it's insects or diseases. And so I encourage folks, you know, it's camping season and we're moving moving stuff around. Don't move your firewood around. Buy that locally when you go somewhere um, versus hauling it across into a new area. So that's a, a great thing that people could be doing. Now, is it important if people see this to report it or is it um, it kind of, are you canvassing the state, kind of watching to see where it's developing? Or? Definitely. So we've only known about laurel wilt disease in the state since uh, 2019. So it's a really new thing for us and we're still learning about where it is. So if you do see this, you can definitely report it. Um, and if you have questions, reach out to your county extension office and they can connect you to more resources. All right. Well, Ellen, certainly appreciate the information. If you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.